Hey guys, this is Hung Bango. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have my next door neighbor, Anna Pachachi, here to lend me her canvas to create this makeup look for you. Anna and I have been neighbor for four years. I never talk about what I do. We always in and out the building. We say hello. She had no idea I'm a makeup artist until a few weeks ago. I stop her in the lobby and I say, Anna, I'm a makeup artist. Would you ever be interested to be a model for my YouTube channel? And I gave her my YouTube channel name and she looked it up and she was like, wow, I would love to. So here she is. We film a video for you. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you give us, the channel, a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. Thank you for all the support so far. To start every makeup, I always prep the skin first. The first product I use is the lip balm from Barbara Sturm. The next product I'm use is the Hyaluronic, also from Barbara Sturm. I'm gonna try to use all the product from Barbara Sturm Skincare today. I think it's a great product on Anna. And you know, the older we get, the more hydration you need. You need all the moisture. That's the best way for plumbing the skin. So that's the reason why I'm using the Hyaluronic Serum. The best way to apply serum is just to press into the skin. You can rub it on, it's up to you, but just that's how I normally like to apply. Next product is the eye cream. I know a lot of people just use a little bit primer to prep makeup and done. But for me, prepping is so important in the skin. You can get away when you 14, 15 years old but the older you get, the more skin care prep you need. You need the skin feel plump, hydrated all the time. And the last step of skin care prep is the face cream. Apply the moisture everywhere and don't forget the neck as well. Give your face a little massage. To wake the skin up. Someone like Anna, who normally don't wear makeup, you can just do a little bit concealer, it's great for the skin. But today, I'm going to do all the steps, and you can use your own judgment, what you want to take away from it, or you don't want to. So it's up to you. But don't ask me why I have so many steps on the face, it's just because I always want to show what would I do if they do a full face of makeup on someone like Anna? The first product I'm using is the NAR Color Corrector. This is the lighter shade they have. And for someone like this, you can use a little concealer, it's all to go. But if you want to go for an event, you want to have your full face done, this is always the best idea. Just have a little color corrector first. And you can use your finger, the brush, up to you to take out some of the natural shadow underneath there first. Close your eye. For foundation and concealer today, I'm using the Revitalizing Foundation from Chanel 
and their concealer. The shade I'm using the foundation is number 40 and the concealer is number 20. This is a beautiful foundation and I have beautiful skin. I think she has gorgeous skin but she just have a little bit of the color uneven around so I'm using a tiny bit just to even out the skin color. What you want to do is you apply just a tiny bit like what I did and blend it out before you add more on. And if you think you need more, you just add a little more. But it's a very hydrating foundation. It's helped to plumb. They have camellia oil in there. So it's actually hydrating and plumbing on the skin. As you can see, I use a tiny bit, but I like to blend everything out. I'm trying to give Anna a little more color. That's why I use the foundation a tiny bit deeper. I think it's almost like her color, but a tiny bit deeper. I think it's nice to give her a little warmth. I think it's beautiful. Keep in mind that the older we get, the more color we lose. So we always should go back to some of the color, even makeup color, try to use like blush, a little color. A lot of people think that the older you are, the less makeup you put on, but I actually think the opposite. You need a little more color. So some lip color, cheek color, eye color, it does give a lot of life to your face. For the concealer, I'm using the shade number 20, a little bit under the eye area. and around the nose. I don't want to cover every single thing. I think Anna earned all of these, so oh, I want to leave as much as I could. And then any extra, you just even out where do you think it needed. For powder, I'm going to use the Givenchy powder. This is a very light powder. I think it's great for mature skin. I use the brush just a little bit under the eye area. And then the rest of them to set the makeup. The powder is so light that you don't feel it's gonna cake it up at all. So don't worry about it too much when you use this kind of powder. All the products I always listed in my description box. So you don't have to DM me to ask. You just go down on the description box and you see all the product I use. We list on the screen as well, but if you can't catch them, you can always go down and then my assistant always lists everything so you can check it out there. Anna doesn't need any contour or anything like that at all. But I want to give her a little bronzer just to define the face shape even better. And I'm using the bronzer from Gucci. This is number two. And just a little bit like this. And you just dust the color around where you think, you know, just modify the face shape. And you see the way I always say it in every video, this is how you use the bronzer, just a little bit at a time. The problem when people do swear too much, you get too much product, mess up the bronzer, you don't want to do that. This way you can see that it's blend seamlessly doesn't matter what formula at all, you still can do that. A lot of time, even on eyeshadow, people always say, oh, this has so much kickback. It's just because you use the brush, you do like this, doesn't matter what formula you do, it's still gonna have kickback. So the best way to do, you just have to go very gentle on your application. I also put a little bit on the nose, 
just a little color and here you go for the eyebrow I'm going to use two products the first product is the brow wiz in shade taupe and the second I use a brow pen in shade blonde I use actually a lighter shade for this one so that's the two shade I'm using to start I didn't tweeze an eyebrow, nothing at all, because I don't think she would be the type that who gonna go home and try to maintain it. So it's better I'm gonna work with what she has, so that way she doesn't have to completely change her lifestyle, what she do with her eyebrow. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I just gonna follow the shape of the natural and just enhance the shape. And that's important. You only wanna teach the client or show someone to do makeup, something that they can actually able to duplicate at home. You don't wanna give them something that they will go home, they can never maintain it. And this way you can use a pencil like this and you just fill it in only where you need it. You see, I just do a little bit at a time. And for eyebrow, of course it will take practice. So if you do on your own, just do a little bit each day and practice how you do it. And slowly you can do it fast. And for the very front, I do it like go backward like this. And a lot of people are concerned about the eyebrow losing the eyebrow going backwards. No, it doesn't fall out. So just stop comment those things. I mean, I do this for 20 years. I never have that experience. So when I show people to do the drawing eyebrow backwards and there's comments about the eyebrow going to fall out. No, it doesn't. You're so gentle. If you've been really rough with that, like pulling out, it's different. But I mean, the way I do is very gentle. You just brush slightly forward, backward. You can see right now, I just feel it in the back here a little more. When you're a little older, it's better not do too long because when you do long, it does drag the eye down. So keep the eye a little shorter, high up here. It's better. Keep the eyebrow, I mean. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side before I show you what I'm gonna do with the marker. Okay, so then you see that something like that to start. Normally it's okay just do it like that. But if you want to be more perfected, you can use a little marker and then you draw a few little individual hair, like what I'm doing right now, just a few just to enhance the eyebrow. And then I use a little bit of brow gel to keep the eyebrow in place. And look back at that. You see something like that. To start the eye makeup, I'm going to use some eye primer. Close your eye in. Just a little bit, not too much, on the eyelid area. And I just use the finger to blend it out. For the eye, I'm going to use these two eyeshadow and the Kaja pencil from Sashado. To start, I'm going to use this Kaja pencil to deepen along the upper lash line a little bit. I do recommend using this kind of pencil. It's thicker, close your eye for me. It's softer, it's more gentle on the eye area. I think when you're older, your eye a bit more sensitive. So this is, doesn't scratch too much. And you can you see, I just smudge out a little bit. This is a long wear Kaja pencil. So use one side at a time. You can just when you one color like this and blend out the whole eye if you want to. But I just want to use a little eyeshadow as well to show you what I would do. And the way I apply, it's very easy. You can see just a little bit and just smudge it out. Look up for me. Same pencil. You can do a little bit on the waterline. This is the first time Anna have her makeup done. <laughs> so she's a little nervous for sure. So what you can see I just did, 
is I do the waterline with the same pencil, a little bit and smudge it all around. Close your eye for me, Anna. You can see some people just like this, you put mascara, you're done for the eye. You don't have to do the eyeshadow if you don't want to. This is a long wear pencil. This will last you all day. And try to get like a soft blending brush like this. I think this is the best way for you to, you know, to blend the eye more gentle. Don't use a big fluffy one because it's, it's scale everywhere. I think this is very directional where you're gonna blend the eyeshadow or the eyeliner, I mean. Close your eye for me. The lighter brown eyeshadow I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the whole crease with this color. This is a very beautiful texture. It doesn't have any fallout at all. Close your eye for me. And you see I'm doing all over the crease area. Like I said, the way I'm doing applying the eyeshadow, everything here is very easy. I'm doing very simple application, nothing complicated. So if you can practice step by step, you can totally able to do it. Whatever left here, you just flip the brush and you just blend over. And then look up for me and do a little bit on the lower lash line as well. This way it just smoke the guy. It keep the eye really soft, smoky. It just keep the eye look so sultry. Look up again. Close your eye. The shadow one color look great as well. You don't have to add more. If you want more depth, you go a deeper color. Close your eye for me, Anna. And just add a little more, just along the lash line. And a little bit on the outer part of the eye here. Use this kind of flat blending brush. I like to use these brushes just because I apply so much easier you just press the product and it doesn't go everywhere you see look straight and you can see this one keep way more depth compared to the side it's all personal preference you don't have to use like that at all close your eye you just use one color is all you need and then go we'll back to the other brush close your eye just blending the edge out i'm gonna do the same on the other side Go back to your concealer brush earlier with nothing, whatever left in there. You just see that just sharpen the edges so it keeps the eye a little more lift just on the corner here. That's all you do. And then do the same on this side. I really show you every single step how I would normally do makeup. So you can just adapt whatever you like or you can take some note, whatever you feel that you can learn from. If not, you don't have to. Always curl your lashes when you do mascara. I think it's always gonna give your eye a little lift, even a little pinch. Especially when you're older, your eye lose a lot of elasticity. You need something to lift it up. So little movement, even from the lashes, can help to lift everything up as well. I'm going to use the volume mascara from Sashado. And I'm going to use two coats on the upper lashes. Look down for me, Anna. And one coat on the lower lashes. Remember when you apply makeup, when your eye more mature, it's always droop a little bit. So make sure the best way always lift you see, everything I do with upward motion, it does give her eyebrow, her eye, quite a nice lift here. And to keep that in mind, the way you apply, it will affect how the eye look. So if you keep blending this way, it does gonna make the eye look this way, just because the shadow gonna 
fall to the way you apply. So it's better just everything you see is all the upward motion and you see the eye look quite nice lip like that. For cheek, I'm going to use this color of cream blush from Rose Ink. I'm using the uh, blush brush from them as well, just a little bit. You see the way I do. This is a cream blush, but it set become more velvety powder. And don't worry about how bright the color. Like I mentioned earlier, the older you are, the, need, the more you need to add the color on. And a little flush is really beautiful. So I'm gonna give Anna a little more blush than she would never imagine. <laughs> but I think it's, it is give a lot of life to the face. You see the way I do, just dab dab a little bit like that with the brush. And then I try to do too low on the blush. I do everything higher and lift it. And really high up and I'm just to do that. You see the color is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to do the same on the other side. For highlighter, I'm going to use a little bit of the liquid highlighter from Lisa Erich. This is a very beautiful highlighter. You can use your finger to apply or you can use your brush. It's up to you. It's very natural and sheer. The best way to do this one, you can also apply under the foundation as well if you want way more radiance than this. But it's alone on top, it's still very beautiful. You see I did do and a little highlight on the cheeks, a little bit on the nose, a little bit everywhere else. And just a little bit everywhere, just to give some radiance on the skin. For lip liner and lipstick, I'm using the color named Dusty Rose, both the same name. It's a satin lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hue. To start, I want to outline the shape a little bit. I don't want to cheat anything, but I just want to define Anna lip shape a little more. I filled it in first. Wow, this is such a beautiful lip liner color. It's exactly the same color lipstick. So, I'm gonna give Anna the lipstick to go so I can apply it directly. It's a beautiful formula for this satin lipstick. This lip color is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy. I think it's gorgeous. To complete the look, I'm going to spray some setting spray from our class. Close your eye for me. That's the final look, guys. That's makeup look that I create on Anna. And I hope you guys enjoy the look. Give the channel a lot of love. Give the thumb up subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. Thank you Anna for coming to my channel and thank you everyone for watching.